Hello viewers, in this video we will see the solution to week 6, assignment 6 for the course Digital Image Processing. First question, in the following, in the first question, in the following Fourier transform, that is discrete Fourier transform of f, f of xy, which of the following, which of the following E property is false for DFT. Which of the following is is false for the property mm. property of DFT? We'll see the solution. Answer is option C. Answer is option C. So option C is the Fourier transform of the product of two functions. Two functions is not distributive is not distributive this is false option c is false option c second question given f of xy and its uh, dft that is discrete fourier transform which of the following relation is used to display discrete fourier coefficients properly and the answer for this is option a option a so this is frequency shifting okay so for that we have to multiply by factorial e factorial by a factor of e to the time domain function to the function f x y to the function f of x y option a option a is the right answer option a third one Third question, which of the following transformations preserves the signal strength or signal magnitude? Signal magnitude. The answer for this is, the answer for the third question is option B. Option B. Option B is discrete Fourier transform, DFT. Discrete Fourier transform, DFT preserves the signal strength. Fourth question. What is the time complexity of fast Fourier transform for n point DFT? So the option is the, ans the answer is fourth one. Fourth one the answer is option C. Option C. So fourth one option C that is n log n base two. Option C. Fifth one. Fifth one. Which of the following corresponds to 8 cross 8 Hadamard matrix? Hadamard matrix. So, for the answer for this is fifth one. Fifth one. So, the Hadamard matrix should satisfy, must satisfy, must satisfy orthogonal property. Hadamard matrix must satisfy orthogonal property. So, what is this property? This property is uh, you take any two column, any two column. Uh, the dot product of two column, the dot product of two column must be equal to zero, as well as the uh, you, the rows, dot product of the rows, any any two rows must be equal to zero. So I have taken here one example, that is the first row, first column and the uh, C C C zero column and C two column, C zero column and C two column. So if you this one multiplied by one plus this multiplied with the this with this one so what we will get is 1 plus 1 minus 1 minus 1 plus 1 plus 1 minus 1 minus 1 okay so what we will get here is that is equal to 0 similarly for all other rows and columns option a the option a what is that option a this option a matrix this matrix satisfies orthogonal property what about remaining matrix so for remaining matrix for option b for option b i have considered the first column that is the c c0 column and c3 column we'll see what is c0 and c3 so in option b in option b option b this is c0 option b c0 column and c3 c3 is this column c3 is this column so if you multiply that one so if you multiply that one what we will get is is equal to minus 4 you multiply two columns and then add it what we will get is minus 4 which is not equal to 0 therefore this given matrix 
in option B is not a Hadamard matrix. Similarly, we will check for option C. Option C, you can see here, I will consider C0 and C2. C0 and C2. So, in option C, option C, this is C0 column, this is C0 column and this is C2 column. This is C2 column. Both C0 and C2 are both 1, 1. So, therefore, what we get here for this is, you will get here, so, individual elements are multiplied and then added. So, 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus is equal to 8. This is not equal to 0. Therefore, this is also not a Hadamard matrix. So, only option A is Hadamard matrix. So, answer is option A. Answer is option A. Coming to the fifth question, sixth question. Which of the following recursive relation is used to obtain higher order Hadamard? Hadamard transform kernels. So the answer is <coughs> the answer is option B. Answer is option B. We can refer the notes, the lecture notes. Option B. Option B. Hn 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 minus Hn. Option B. Next one. Seventh one, considering the cost and complexity of hardware required, which of the following, which of the following transforms is, is generally preferred, is generally preferred for real time applications. The answer for this is option C, option C. Seventh one is option C, FFT. So, considering the cost and complexity, FFT is the fast Fourier transform, is the generally preferred one. Eighth question, eighth question, which of the following transforms have exactly same basis images as that of, as that of Wall's transform? Now, ignoring the order of basis images and the answer is option D, ordered Hardman transform. Option D. Eighth is option D. Option D is ordered Hadamard transform. Ninth one. Ninth one. Imagine, imagine you have a powerful servers with significant processing capabilities. You are looking for a transform that can squeeze the most of information out of data while efficiently representing it with minimal loss which of the following transforms would be the best choice so the answer for this is the answer for this is option d option d is kl transform option d is kl transform will squeeze most of the information out of the data and but it requires most powerful abilities so option d Next one, tenth one, an application for compressing storage space of images uses CPU with that has a built-in FPU. FPU is nothing but floating point. FPU is nothing but floating floating point unit. Okay, and the which which is nothing but an accelerated sine, cosine, and exponential and floating numbers, arithmetic, comma etc. So, which of the following transform is better suited for this application, for this application? So, the answer for this is option B, option B. So, that is discrete cosine transform, discrete cosine transform, option B. Thank you.